Hey guys, Merry Christmas and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a light up card. and This is the first light up card I've ever done and I think these are really fun and really quite easy to do. So first I want to start off, we're going to make a window panel and I'm using some uh, wood veneer paper. This is actual wood, just milled really thin. It's really cool stuff. And we're going to use two dies to make our window panels. And the first is a stitched rectangle die. This one measures two and three quarters by four so you can fit two side by side on a five and a half wide card um, and they fit perfectly and then I'm going to go in with the second die this is by Mama Elephant um, this is the I want to say postage creative cuts window die and it creates um, a window frame so you've got six little squares it cuts out and then one side cuts and the other side scores um, so you can see that you can see fold it out just like you would um, a side opening window. And then I take my bone folder and kind of reinforce that crease. Now because this is wood veneer paper, you need to be a little bit careful because it will crack. Um, but it is really fairly flexible for being real wood and not um, wood printed paper. So I've got two of those. I'm going to move on to my characters. Now we're using um, some Bristol Smooth cardstock with Copics. And the stamp set I'm using is called Peeking Friends by Gerda Steiner Designs. Super cute. They're designed to look like they're peeking in from the side or maybe um, upside down from the top or the bottom. So they're not a full character, a full image. They're meant to be peeking in. So you just get um, a side view or a top view of them. and they are super cute. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to make Rudolph's nose light up. And so we're going to use um, Chibitronics is the brand and they sell little kits that you can buy and in there is battery, copper tape, and little circuits. And it gives you all the instructions you need to figure out how to build them. Um, and it, I'll be honest, I had the kit in my, in my studio for Oh, a good year before I played with it and it was just because it's really cool looking but it's an intimidating for me anyway um, I'm more psychology art oriented rather than uh, mechanical but they really are easy and fun to use so what I'm doing here is I'm adding just little dots of color to kind of add a little bit of texture a little fur texture to the reindeer and if you're just jumping into alcohol markers in general, but especially Copics, um, Sandy Allnut has a class called Copic Jumpstart, and it gives you lots of tips and tricks for how to blend your markers, what colors go together, what colors you can use together to create new shades or shadows or blending, all that good stuff. Um, it's really easy to, easy to learn, easy to go through, um, self-paced class that you watch videos and you can do on your own time. And um, she has a lot of printables, charts you can print out to color on to kind of help you figure out blending and stuff. And I really recommend her classes. I think she's a brilliant teacher and a brilliant artist. And that's at artclasses.com. And I will have a link in um, the blog post to go with this video. And she has other classes too, so you can learn how to do different textures and different effects. And this is really fairly simple coloring. I've done two different red warm, warm brown tones on his fur and then a red brown to the antlers. Just for a little bit of contrast between his fur and the antler. So he's almost done. We're going to move on to Santa. And I do, um, I sh try to show you the Copic colors as I use them, um, but I also have taken to writing them down on my paper. As I usually cut these out. I usually don't use it on the panel I'm, I'm doing. So I did fussy cut these guys out. I normally don't do that. I kind of hate fussy cutting, um, but I didn't have any dies for them. So I did use the fussy cutting to, to cut these out. So I just wrote down the different colors I'm using 
um, along the side. So now we're going to go on to Santa. And the reds I'm using, this is a really easy Copic red combination. And reds can be a little bit difficult, um, especially if they get outside the lines because they're really hard to push back in. So R27, R37, R39. You can also use R59 if you don't have a 39. It's just a tiny bit deeper, but at the same time less intense, if that makes any sense. Um, so that's the easy Copic combo that I use for most reds. It's not a super dark red, it's just a nice medium toned Christmassy red. And these three colors blend together really nicely too. And try not to, if you're new to Copics, try not to get stuck in the frame of reference where you have to have, you know, uh, R27, 29, and 30. It, they don't necessarily all work together that way. Um, for example, the skin I'm using, the skin tones I'm using for Santa's skin is E00, E50, and E51. Um, so kind of, it helps to experiment with your markers and helps to see, helps you to figure out which skin tones go together and which ones don't. And it's going to change for every different person using them. So don't be too hard on yourself when you're learning how to use these. And then for his uh, beard and mustache and the white on the hat, I'm just using some really, really light gray, cool tone gray. So I've got um, C00, C0, and then I've used the C0 to add a little bit of shading to the white on the hat, um, a little bit of shadows. And then I'm just using Colors Blender to blend it all out. And this way you're using the white of the paper too, to help add to the whiteness. So that's the cup of coloring all done, easy peasy. And then um, off camera, I cut these out just cause you don't need to see me <laughs> fussy cutting all day long. So here's the Chibi Lights, the Chibitronic set. And this is the little book that comes in the kit along with um, two batteries, some biter clips, and it shows you there's several different circuits in this book. This is the real simple one that I use. And I wanted to keep this super simple and um, make it quick and easy. So in the back of your battery, there's two circuits at the top and the bottom. And you wanna make sure that it's connecting to your foil tape because that's the conductor. So we're gonna build a little housing and I've punched a hole in, in Rudolph's nose to help the light come through. And then I used my pencil and the back panel to figure out where I needed to place the f uh, copper tape to connect the battery to the circuit or the light. We're building the circuit. So this little um, housing, if you want to call it that, it's just a piece of cardstock folded over, is going to hold the battery. And then we're going to use foam tape to create a little room for it. And this is just a good way to keep the um, battery disconnected while you're not using it so that you don't use up all the, the power in it. Um, you're only going to light it up when it's connected and that is connected by pressing it down. So you want to build a little foam tape room, a little housing for your battery. And then I took that bottom piece back off because I forgot that I needed to add the, <laughs> the, the copper tape. So I'm just using the little template there to kind of give me a guide on where to um, put the tape. Because you have to break the circuit at the top of the light and the bottom so that it goes through the light to power it versus just underneath it. 
So the light serves as a conductor as well. And the, the copper tape is kind of fragile. It's not industrial strength, so you don't want to pull on it too much because it will break. And then you just want to burnish it down through your bone folder to make sure it's got good adhesion to the paper. And there are different colors of the lights that you can buy too. This one's red. This kit comes with red, blue, and yellow. And, and the white are separate. And then you can get other colors too. And the key to this is you do not want to take off the release paper on the top. Because if you do, then the copper tape, you'll, you'll continuously power the battery versus being able to light it up and turn it back off. So it's important not to stick that down. You want that to stick up. So then for support, I just, um, I'm going to press the antler down. You're going to see Rudolph's nose light up. I think that's so cute. Um, so I build up the rest of the background just for support for the card and to allow that little house to um, stay up so you're not constantly lighting the battery or lighting up the light using the battery so just using some um, foam tape doubled up 3m foam tape to add around the rest of the panel So I'm doing this, um, what I did with the window panels, I went, I cut, I cut those out using stick it on the back so that'd be pre-adhesive and then I used two um, Hero Arts acetate windows to add plastic to the back of the window so it actually looked like a window. Um, and then removed the stick it from just the casing of the window, the outer rectangle. so that the window panel itself would open. I'm just adding a little bit of um, E50 to the white to kind of make it look like a cream color painted wall in the background. And um, the sky panel is alcohol ink and Yupo. And I've got another video showing how I did that, and I will link to that in the blog post as well. Sorry about my head in the way. I want to make sure it was straight. See the window's open. And then acetate is there to make it look like a window. So you're opening the window to say hello to Santa on Christmas Eve. So I'm turning off the lights so you can kind of get a better idea of how this, will, how this would look in the dark. And how those Chibitronics lights really do show a lot of light. And then to finish it off, I was kind of struggling with how to do a sentiment on this. Um, but I kind of wanted to keep it really simple. So I'm using some Stazon um, solvent ink. And this is an opaque white ink. And you can use it on plastic, this acetate, or metal, or glass. It will stick with to all three. And that finishes up the card. I wanted to keep the focus on that light up feature. And there's the whole stamp set. Peeking friends. And there's the card for today. So let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, have a Merry Christmas. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.